Okay, today we're going to be continuing with our module on John Virtue. Last lesson we did a uh, monochromatic uh, limited palette drawing. Now what we're going to do is use black and white, as Virtue did, and actually create a painting uh, based on a limited palette. Limited palette here being black and white. So first of all, again, we're going to start off finding the range and we'll start with the black creating uh, some squares starting with black and this way adding white down here and finding the range in the center it's always good to get the darkest and the lightest out of the way uh, to create that range and then in the center we're going to be looking to create a grey those three colors put down first will enable you to establish the lightest darkest and mid-tone if you don't do that you're going to end up producing a mid-tone and then adding to it and not knowing how far one side it's got to be in terms of darkness and lightness here we've got the three tones established and you can put those straight onto the painting which we're going to go over this Phoenix Theatre uh, photograph. I think it's easier to go over photographs initially to get the confidence in terms of painting uh, and what we're going to do is look at going to the range of grey to white so obviously carefully adding white to the grey that stage As you can see here it gradually obviously gets lighter and lighter make sure I have more white doing this first just enables you to have the, the confidence to know which tone goes where you see here and we've had students who don't produce a grid of tone and basically they don't know which tone goes where it ends up being a little bit uh, haphazard in, in that sense. More white here. You can also add more squares. Virtue obviously would have done this technique in college before we came to paint. And then we go to the other side. This time adding. To the grey. Obviously if you don't get it perfectly right you can see on that one maybe it should be a bit darker. Just add a small indication underneath the uh, square there. So making it much darker here and then obviously almost black not quite there, it's quite a nice range there. So you can see, going all the way through, you can even number them if you wish. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number them, it's not necessary, but uh, some students would tend to put the numbers onto the picture here and do it stage by stage, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is start off with the lightest colour which is a white and I'd suggest that basically the white of the paper would come through here. I'm going to basically colour the sky in white and nothing else will be the same brightness there, everything else will have a tint of black in it. So the white here goes on to the sky. If I tend to add clouds in virtue style afterwards I can do that but for this purpose here, this demo, I'm just going to put the white in. Possibly in terms of where you're looking at you probably won't see that as white but it's fine. The paper colour Will come through and then I'm going to add the black to the darkest areas and not change this at all 
So we've got the darkest and lightest black we can see in here, the side of the phoenix. Now what I tend to do when I'm painting over photographs is that the black and white will be fine, but other colours, other deeper greys, lighter greys, you put them down and they'll appear lighter and dry darker. So it's very important to put the colour down knowing it's lighter, anticipating it's going to be darker. So most of your colours that you're putting down will look lighter but will dry slightly darker. So always put the colour down one stage ahead in the sense if it's a little bit brighter that's not an issue. So the black will go down here and then the mid-range tones I will add going back to the mid obviously checking against the squares first of all that's fine obviously varying the brush size based on the areas you're painting I'm suggesting here using a smaller brush and looking for some of the grey areas which we find in here now I'm going to continue with this demo applying the colours with different size brushes carefully applying and then what I expect you to end up with is something like Neve had the sixth form girl from Finch Catholic High School on her uh, painting which we showed on the PowerPoint a variation of different tones which will follow the form of the building and give the full range creating a really dynamic and complex limited palette composition okay